All right, this is gonna be a quick and straight to the point type of tutorial. Uh, we're gonna to go to the first link in the description. It's this GitHub page, you got some stuff. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down. You'll see this a download. We're gonna open this in a new tab. All right, here we got some files. You can see we have applet mdflash.bin. Click that to download that. And now, depending on if you have an alt or a control, download either of these. I have the control, so I'm downloading this one. And then we need the MD loader underscore windows .exe. So you got three files. Once we have these three files installed, we're going to open up the command prompt by typing CMD, enter. And now we got to navigate to the downloads folder. So we're going to type CD for change directory, hit space. I'm going to just copy this, right click, paste, boom, enter. If you're on Windows 10, I'm pretty sure to paste, you need to right click up here and then like, edit and then paste or something like that. Before we type the actual command, I'm just going to do a little test. So we're going to type MD loader underscore windows dot exe space minus minus L. This is just going to list available devices. I'm going to press enter. You're going to see no devices found. That's normal. That's just because we haven't put our keyboard into like the reset mode yet. So I'm going to press up arrow just to get that back. And what we need to do because our keyboard's not going to work. Let's look up keyboard. You'll see this on-screen keyboard. Let me drag it in. Now, this is just going to allow us to press enter once our keyboard goes off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to press F, N, and B for a little bit, and then let go. Your keyboard light should turn off. If that doesn't work, there's a reset pin on like the bottom left of the keyboard, like in between a couple screws. Uh, my mouse is not working. Okay, now it's back. You'll hear like the little Windows disconnected sound. All right, once you've let it stay blank for a little bit, we're going to press enter virtual keyboard all right you should see a device port com and then a number and then some random numbers that's good that just means your computer can see it okay so this is a little troubleshooting this was my issue if you still see no devices found you don't see like com3 or just random numbers or anything what we're gonna want to do is go to computer properties uh, I think on Windows 10 you got to go to control panel and then like system yeah, same thing. Anyways, but system, you're going to want to go to advanced system settings, then hardware, and then device installation settings here, and then change this to yes, because what this does is when your keyboard goes into like the bootloader reset mode, then it's going to actually download a driver to recognize it. I had this on no, and I was really confused why it wasn't working, but that might help. If that doesn't help, I don't have any solutions for you, but just to give you somewhere to start, I would try to look for a USB to serial driver because that's what is going to make it show up here. I'm going to put this in the description, but you can also copy it from the GitHub page here. That's what I'm going to do. So just go ahead and copy this Windows command here. I'm going to paste it in there. And what this does is it just enables the ability for your keyboard to store information on the EEPROM, which is like the device memory. Whatever, you don't need to know that. but. We're going to get that command ready and make sure you still have this keyboard up. Press enter. It's going to say scanning for device for 60 seconds. Now we're going to do the same thing where we press FN and B and let go or the reset bin. And it's eventually going to pick up this device while it's scanning. Let's see. Oh, heard the sound. Yep. Boom. There it is. If you see this, everything worked fine. It's a success. Now, we have one more step to go, which is uh, flashing this firmware that we downloaded here. Okay, this second command is also in the GitHub page right here, but I'm going to put it in the description as well. So we're going to go ahead and just copy that. This part, we do need to change something depending on if you have the control or the alt. You should see uh, this statement here where it says minus minus download mass drop underscore alt or whatever. I have the control, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this whole name here including the dot bin um, we're gonna go back and just delete the part that says the alt because that's not what we're trying to do and paste and then yep that's your whole command here I'm gonna press enter it's gonna do the same scanning for the device thing you're gonna press FNB with the reset pin wait a little bit And hopefully it's a success. 
Uh, I remember mine did say error the first time I did it, but it still worked. So if it's working, you know, just test it, change the RGB settings, unplug it and plug it back in. If that's all good, then congrats, you did it. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit technical. I don't know why this isn't a default thing, but yeah, hope this helped someone because I spent about six hours trying to get this to work yesterday. Sheesh.